Let's get to our Steve Shamraz now, who is live inside Pfizer Forum ahead of tonight's home opener. Hey, Steve. Hey, Susan, you can feel the energy building inside Pfizer Forum as everybody who's part of the Bucks organization is doing the last minute things they need to do before the doors below me open and the fans who are gathered outside in the drizzle start to stream in and they tip off uh, a season with some very high expectations. There's a lot of people expecting big things out of the Bucks this year all over the world. No pressure on this guy right here, Dustin Godsey. You're in charge of uh, marketing for one of the biggest brands in sports on the planet right now. What's that like that here in Milwaukee, we have a brand that is known around the world? It's pretty incredible to see. And, you know, it's one of those things. This is my 12th home opener. So uh, I've, we've never seen anticipation for a season like we've seen today, this year. And that's coming off of opening Pfizer Forum, coming off a championship, the, the buzz in the city, but then what that means globally from, you know, September, September 27th, when you have that trade announced and all the attention kind of comes from Milwaukee. It's a, a pretty special moment for the city. Two enormous moments in the offseason this year. There was the, the, the Dame deal and Giannis agreeing to another three years here with the Bucks in Milwaukee, gracing us with his presence. Are those things you can kind of see on a economic seismometer of the team that people want tickets you're selling more tickets more season tickets are flying out the door absolutely it is and it's you know we're on a 138 game I think regular season sellout streak so we've been okay selling tickets yeah. um, but the pace and the the velocity of what we've seen we've sold you know usually as you get closer to the season season ticket sales that sort of thing slows down we've sold 600 full season tickets since the Dame trade happened and that's continued to go through and obviously the honest news this week has helped we are you know in the the first two months of the season 10 to 20 percent ahead of where we would be at this pace in previous years in terms of people pre-buying tickets so you know we're not having to wait and, and sell tickets at the, at the last minute and that sort of thing it's incredible to see you know how just excited people are to, to find those tickets and be able to, to find their game they want to come down to. And now you just need to manage expectations. Absolutely, yeah. No, no <laughs> and expectations at all. And, you know, when the, the players are the ones saying, you know, we're here to win a championship, that's that's our expectation. That that kind of sets the tone for everybody. Well, for all the long-suffering Bucks fans out there, you among them, you were here in the lean years. Absolutely. We get to enjoy being one of the hottest tickets on the planet right now. Yep. Dustin Godsey, thank you so much. Steve, appreciate Good it. Good luck this year. Thank you. All right, Susan, we're going to send it back to you in the studio, but uh, we can't wait to get the people outside in the drizzle, in the seats, and hear this place come to life in just a couple of hours. It's almost getting to the point, Steve, where those lean years are hard to remember, you know, with the Bucks having so much success in the last several years. I will never forget the bright red and green Christmas tree uniform. Oh. So no, the lean years <laughs> will, will always be part of my memory. It <laughs> makes it still... makes these good years yeah. all the more special. Yeah, that's true too. Thanks, Steve. All right.